Oh, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's very late in the evening. I am expired. My face is expired. And we need to uh, tend to this mess that has been on my face all day long. And so I thought that I would turn the camera on in my bathroom, very Vogue-esque, and bring you along with my actual nighttime skincare routine, but like my bougiest version. This is the creme de la creme of the full entire skincare routine. It's not like an additional pampering one. This isn't like my pampering routine, like where I bathe and stuff. This is the actual like, you know, 27 product process that I do when I'm feeling extra fancy and extra bougie with my skincare. I am aware of the absurdity of the, the total cost of this. We don't need to go there. We don't need to remind myself of this. <laughs> but I'm gonna take you along with me. I would like to first note that um, <laughs> I'm allergic to my cat, okay? And I don't know if this is exactly the cause of it, but this is the most extended period that I have spent in my home not leaving my cat that I'm allergic to. And I think that this is causing like excessive blinking. So apologies for that first and foremost, but also um, that is why I've got mascara all under my face because I've literally just been sitting like this. Yeah, so we need to wash it off. <laughs> and secondly, uh, yeah, I was wearing a high neck shirt today. I don't know what to say about this shade difference. Let's dive in. If you want to come along with me on this bougie skincare journey, let us go. So I'm starting by removing my makeup and I have blabbed about this a little bit, but the face halo has become my new best friend. But I also love to do like a multi-cleansing, multi-makeup removing moment. So if I'm feeling extra, I will also go in with my cleansing oil first. This is the Caudalie cleansing oil. So what I'm gonna do is wet this. She is wetted. And then now that that's wet, I'm gonna take, ah, let's do this. Oh my God, no. She's nearing its end. I'm gonna take the cleansing oil and just put this on my face. And I just like to do this because it just separates the makeup. It honestly just feels good. I love the feeling of an oil. And I just put this on my face and melt it all in. <laughs> Rub it in. Oh, it feels so nice. I wish I could just live like this, just like soaked in oil. Then I take the face halo and we are going to remove all of the makeup with this. Going right up in my hairline, because I put stuff all up in there. Down the neck, wiping off the mascara with this as well. It's so soft, it feels so nice. It just takes everything off, it's magical. And there's the face, my friends. So now I'm going to go in with cleanser. This is the Kate Somerville Soothing Cleanser from the Delicate line. And while I'm cleansing my face, I just take a little bit of this and put it on my face halo as well and kind of scrub it in because we are going to be using this again in a moment. So I'm just gonna put a little droplet on there, a little drop on my face, and I'm going to wash my face. <laughs> All right, the makeup is off, my zits are exposed. Listen, you can do as much as you want from skincare, but you can't stop mother nature. I had my period and ugh, I've been eating not so good things and she is just, she's so mad. What is this zit? What is this little friend here? We'll, we'll tackle that later, okay? <laughs> but I, I don't know what to say about all of, all of this. Anyway, normally I'd go in with my um, exfoliator at this point, but instead, of that. I'm gonna use a little chemical exfoliating mask. I'm gonna use this IS Clinical Triactive Exfoliating Mask. I'm actually gonna do two masks and I'm using these, even though this isn't like my full pamper routine, these are two masks that I keep on my face for a very short amount of time, like under five minutes for each one. So it's kind of like you can apply it, have a little dance moment to yourself and wash it off. So when I'm having like these extra breakout moments, I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra, not like a full go and sit down in like a half hour mask, but I'm going to put these two masks on. This is the Barbara Sturm face mask, which feels really nicely. If I'm going in with a physical exfoliant, I want to go in with something hydrating after. I gotta re-moisten my face for this, sorry. So I'm going to take this, you apply a thin layer all over the face. It's really cool. It's like green goop and it's got little beads in it. And I'm just going to rub that all over, like especially on my forehead here. <sighs> And a little bit on my nose. I'm kind of avoiding 
my eye area all over. Like I'm not going anywhere around this little eye area because it just doesn't need tri active exfoliating and I don't I don't really know how I feel about putting that near my eyes, but I will put it on all my zits. <laughs> It smells really good and it just feels really nice. And I'll just kind of keep massaging that around. I usually react like pretty immediately to chemical exfoliants or any products in general. If my skin rejects them, and this one, considering it's like a powerful exfoliant, just works really, really well. And if it passes my sensitive skin, it's most likely gonna be good for most. <laughs> I always see Lisa Eldridge do like little facial massages and so I just kind of like I get a really, maybe it's because I talk so much. <laughs> That's just dawned on me. That would be so funny. Yeah, my, my muscles, my jaw muscles here get a little bit sore and so I kind of just sit here and rub my face for as long as I feel like really <laughs> get in there and kind of loosen up or attempt to loosen up any of those tense muscles. And it just feels really good and I feel like I'm just helping the skin to absorb the mask. And then when you get bored, you can go back in with your base halo. It's actually such an amazing mask remover. I wouldn't normally recommend um, removing anything with beads with this, but these ones are so fine. I feel like it's okay. I'm sorry, face halo, if you're like, don't do it. I'm sorry, but I'm going to. Mm. So let's go ahead and remove the mask. All right, now we're gonna go in with the Dr. Barber Sturm face mask. I apply this one pretty liberally across my face, I'm not gonna lie. I leave this on my face for such a short amount of time and it starts to dry up so quickly. So I'm just gonna keep this one short and sweet. And when you're done masking, just go back in with your face halo or however you wish to remove it and remove the mask. Okay guys, so this next part <laughs> of the skincare routine is new and I have to give you a little backstory on it, a little blab for a second because I was not supposed to have this product. Over the Sephora sale, the spring event, I made ooh, so many orders. I'm still waiting for some to come in. But listen, this is my job. I review products. I bought a lot of giveaways for the coming month. <laughs> that I'm still waiting for some. I'm gonna start the giveaways soon, don't worry, but I'm still waiting on a few slow packages. Anyway, so I ordered like a lot of shit. <laughs> and one of the boxes came, it was a full face of, of, of thing. And there was a giant box in it, in my Sephora order, a giant box that I did not order. And what was in this box was the new face machine. Now I have seen so many people talk about this. I have seen so many people use it. I've seen it all over. It's just like suddenly surfaced on all corners of the planet. My beloved Lisa Eldridge uses it. And now prior to all of the COVID lockdown and whatnot, I was going to Tight Clinic for some, you know, like it's, it's like a laser treatment that is supposed to lift and tighten the areas around your face, okay? Which is essentially what this machine does. But because Corona happened, I was never able to finish my treatment. You're supposed to go like a certain amount of times like every week. And anyway, so when once COVID is done and the clinics open back up, I'll be able to go back and do my treatment. So I was doing this anyway, okay? I just needed to say that I didn't like go out and order this. However, when it arrived in my house in the box, I was like, well, now I wanna try it. <laughs> So Dan and I sat there for a couple minutes and we were just looking up some videos on YouTube. I saw a Susan Yara video. Again, like I'd already seen Lisa Eldridge talk about it and I was like, oh, Dan, we should just keep it. We should just keep it and try it out. And while we're in lockdown, see if it does anything to tighten our areas. Listen, I got a little, I got a little extra something, something under here that I would love to, you know, <laughs> tighten up. So then I was just gonna, I was just gonna keep it. But Dan being the blessed angel, the sweet, sweet soul that he is was like, babe, do, do the right thing. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. No one else would do this. Ugh. <laughs> so I called Sephora, waited 47 minutes to get a hold of someone. Okay, so called customer service and told them what happened. I said, hey, like I received this, this device in my order and I did not order it and uh, can I pay for it? And they were like, well, well, we'll email you a return slip and you can return it. And I was like, well, no. No, I want it. I have it now. I want to keep it. <laughs> and because it was the, the savings event, you're getting 20% off. I was like, fine, I'll buy it. So I paid for it. I gave them my credit card info over the phone. They emailed me a receipt. <sighs> That's my long story. It literally landed on my doorstep. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, I bought this machine. I only used it once before. Like this is very recent in the happenings. Figured I'd give it a little test while we're in lockdown. Why the heck not? So in, there's various ways that you can use it. I'm gonna do it on my neck and my, my face area. And for the next little while, I'm gonna introduce that into my night and maybe day routine, who knows, and see what happens. See if I become nice and tight and chiseled. So it comes with a little gel primer. So I'm gonna rub that kind of on the areas that I intend to use it, which is <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. And basically, you just like, well, I mean, from the video I watched, you're tracing along the the lines of your muscle, like where you'd want to, just like following the direction that you'd, that you'd want to tighten, I suppose. And every time it beeps, that's when you can like start a new pass. So I'm just gonna try doing it under my chin. Feels weird, it kind of, you feel like a little bit of a shock. Sorry, I'm going faster than the beeps, I'm being bad. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this on my face for a little bit until I get bored. <laughs> so that's a fun new device. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug that in. I'm gonna wipe this primer off my face. And now that we're all clean and tight and chiseled, let's go in with the rest of the skincare. SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. We've learned from the cotton pad. I'm putting it in the palm of my hand. And I just pat that all over my face. I take it down my neck. It feels so good. Mm. Love life. Then I've also been trying this out. This is the Eyes Clinical Super Serum. I didn't realize how much I'd already gone through of this, but I take three drops of this and I'm just patting that around my lower face and also on my forehead. Kind of like my areas of dryness and concern. I always just press it on my face like this <laughs> with my palms and let that do its magic. Hopefully it's doing its magic. I've only been using it for about two weeks. So I'm curious to see what this will do for me if I'll have stunning, amazing skin. Eye cream, I'm gonna use the Caudalie Premier Crew. I'm taking two pumps of that. I should have only taken one. <laughs> But I'm gonna do the little trick that I learned at Caudalie at my little sweet facial. So I take it between my two, well four, middle fingers and I'm gonna place it over my eyes like this in these rubbing motions. Kind of pat it underneath like that. Getting the entire eye area. And then, sorry, I have to see myself here. I'm gonna put it on my earlobes like she told me to anti-age and just put that around my lip contour as well, as they say. And hopefully I'll be youthful forever. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna take this little mixture, my Fresh Creme Sien, the ultimate ageless complexion treatment, my favorite. Oh, thick, thick hydrating night cream ever. I really, I only use this at night. It's not a day thing for me. And I'll take a little pump of the Maylands from the Youth Dew. So I always do, you can see like where I've done this in the bowl. I always go like this around the edges, leaving a little mountain in the middle. And then my true process guys, like I'm always, you know, down one hand. So I just take that and I rub it between my fingers like this, <laughs> create kind of a little bucket. And then I take the Maylands from the Youth Dew. Okay, I'll do two spurts. And then I put that between my hands and I mix it all together. The Creme Sienna is a super like waxy thick formula. So I like to massage it with the Youth Dew before I actually put it on. It kind of uh, melts it down a little bit and makes it more balmy. And then I just press that into my skin. All right, so now that we are hydrated and glistening, I'm gonna deal with the zits. <clears throat> this is the Kate Somerville Eradicate. <laughs> acne treatment. This is a little like duo, do you call it a biphase product? You basically take a Q-tip and dip it in to the powder layer and then drag it out through the liquid and I'm gonna place this on all my zits. So here is this big reindeer Rudolph one on my nose. This one right here, we've got one here. This one right here. Oh my god, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Put a few like random ones around my mouth too. Ugh, it's so annoying. And we'll just let those burn overnight. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the Bite Beauty Agave Plus, the little nighttime treatment. I'm almost, I'm almost hitting pan on this one. 
and put that on my lips. Mmm, get them all hydrated and a little juicy. Oh, this one's getting so uh, itchy on my nose. Ah! I hate noses, they're the worst. Okay, and then the final step of my routine, because I'm blinking like crazy and just having all these allergies, I gotta put my eye drops in. How could this happen to me? Oh, I put a lot on that one, oops. I'm not gonna look, I'm crying forever. It's not you, it's me. All right guys, and that is it. That completes, that's it. Ah, as if this wasn't like 30 steps. That completes my extra intensive, very bougie nighttime skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite extra special bougie skincare products are. I'd love to hear from you. I'm gonna go to sleep now and bask in this oozing juiciness and pray that I wake up with a uh, golden goddess baby butt skin. I'm also going to wake up in the AM and film the same thing, but my morning version. So definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video when I show you the daytime version, my little morning routine, lockdown edition. Maybe I'll even put jeans on, who knows. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. I hope you all have beautiful, sweet dreams wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all tomorrow for my next video. Bye.